Coming to you live from this address, GA0992539 Nikukumim Lokra on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We'll join you on TV. We're also live on DSTV Channel 421 and Go TV Channel 144. Check out our YouTube stream on Join News Live. My name is Mapisa CBD. This is Join News Interactive, a special edition taking a look at the late Nana Ampedu's life. We'll be back after this. On September 28, 2021, a dark cloud fell over the Ampedu family, over the entertainment industry and over Ghana as a whole. A son, a father, a brother, musician and legend had gone to meet his maker. Nana Kwame Ampedu was a high-life musician who died at the age of 76. He had been sick for 11 months, according to his fourth son, Kwesi Ampedu. And he gives me detailed and detailed account how Ghana lost a legend when I went to the Ampedu residence yesterday. When, when, we, when we called the hospital or maybe somebody prominent like Nanampedu, you have seen that the ambulance is there. We've told you this person is in the ambulance and you are telling us that doctor is sleeping. No, these things must stop in Ghana. It, it should stop in Ghana. So I just need to understand and clarify quickly. So the ambulance did come, but it just came late. Late. It came late. And they, they were aware they are coming for such a great man. So every, they must do everything to come on time. If they had come on time, and if we have taken him on time, maybe they could have sustained him. Yeah. <laughs> Father, for the past, let's say, 11 months, has been ill. Unfortunately, uh, at dawn, around 3.30, I had a call from my residence that uh, my father's illness has worsened. So I and my brother should rush so that uh, we take him to the hospital. We did so at dawn. We tried as fast as possible uh, 
and we went to the Legan UGMC Hospital uh, through 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 to the Achimata Hospital, which we couldn't find any assistance there. Okay, when you say you couldn't find assistance, any, what do you mean? Yeah, when we went there, the the doctor was asleep. We banged the door. He came and he was rather asking us, uh, why were we banging the door so much? After he said he is coming. And we said, oh, please, we are not here for argument. We have a problem. Then he said, oh, we don't have to tell him that we have a problem. He already realized that we have a problem. So we found out that we couldn't have any help there. So we had to extend our journey to the Legon Hospital. That's the UGMC hospital. Um, the doctors tried as much as they could to revive him, but unfortunately, we lost our father, Nana Kwame Ampedu. So today, as we speak, at the time of 5.24 a.m., today, Tuesday, the 28th of September, 2021, Ajuntufo Nana Kwame Ampedu is no more. So those were uh, some of the sons of the late Nana Ampedu giving me a detailed account of how they lost the father. But at the resident of the deceased filmmaker, Soko Safa, was there to pay his respects to the family. And when I asked uh, the movie producer what Ghana had lost or what the Ghanaian entertainment industry had lost, in one simple word he said, an institution. Take a listen. Can you just tell us about your relationship with the late Nana Ampedu? Well, I would say that I am a filmmaker. Yeah. So my relationship mostly started from the political front. Okay. But before then, um, I was stealing from him. Yes, um, as a filmmaker, um, sometimes I pick his uh, songs. Mm -hmm. And it's mostly on stories. He likes writing about... Um, F uh, the fairy tales and things like that. So I pick some of his stories. Yeah. I steal them. Yeah. yeah. Until one day, I decided that um, let me come to him and seek his permission. Mm. I came. I confessed, and he just laughed and said, "Oh, I've been seeing it, but I'm just proud that you are making use of my works. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, if you are here today, why not? Yeah. You can do it." Any song you want, that you want to make a film out of, this, uh, out of it, mm -hmm. go ahead. That is why I am on earth, to yeah. educate. Yeah. So if you are going to pick the song and make a movie out of it, then go ahead. I mean, this uh, man composed like 800 songs or even more. It's more than it's yeah, that's what I'm saying, even more. Yeah. Uh, what has the industry lost? An institution. Yeah. We've lost an institution for me, if you ask me. We've lost an institution, but there is also the J. Adolfos and the rest who are also there with us now. I would like to see after Nana's barrier, something will be done to keep records of what we, 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 we have left. Uh, Nana's demand should give us a wake-up call that uh, we should have a way of institutionalizing our legends in the arts. Because it looks like we only enjoy them while they are alive. When they go, then we forget about them. Well, artist manager Chrissy Ernest, who was also at the house, shares some lessons he learned from the High Life musician. I think that I learned a few lessons. And um, some of the lessons that I learned is that one, Nana will tell you, don't be a cheat. He will tell you, don't be greedy. Mm -hmm. uh, whatever your level, your size, Nana will see you, he want to hug you, he want to tell you stories, he want to, he want to tell you about himself, he want to tell you about Christ. Yeah. I mean, and, and he is one thing that everybody remembers him about, mm -hmm. that he never for, forgot his God. Wherever he passes, he tried to make sure that Christ is mentioned. And I remember this one. I even have the footages which I will share with you, that when we went to Paris, that he, he performed in the Church of Pentecost, Paris Central Church of Pentecost. Nana performed. And you know one thing, when he was about to have the microphone, the, 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 the officiating pastor was a bit, he was, he was a bit confused yeah. as Nana Pedu coming to perform in Church of Pentecost. And so he took the microphone and said, I am one, one, one. 
and then o jonto fo na nampedu me ba me ne wa beto gospel and i'm telling you in the whole church yeah. the mood and everything people were like you know yeah. th this is the person we are talking about wherever he was you will never see nana frowning his face yeah. You will never see him getting angry. At every time, he will advise you, he will educate you, he will share jokes with you, he will give you stories. I mean, he tells you stories about things. And me particularly, he, he shared with me, I remember in the flight, I sat with him in one seat, and he told me how he started his music yeah. from Kwawu, how he got all started and everything. So, practically, yeah. this is the person we are celebrating. And so that's Artist Manager Chrissy Ernest. Now, Ghanaians are still uh, eulogizing the veteran, veteran high life musician. We'll get some of those reactions on Twitter because he's still trending at number seven as we speak. But before we go to social media, let's go uh, to Zoom. And the music man, Kojo Entry, is joining me via Zoom. Good morning, Mr. Entry. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing great, thank you. And how about you? I'm okay, thank you. Thank you so much for joining me. And then we also yeah. have uh, Adu Hafiz, who is a fan, and we'll speak okay. to him uh, very soon. Uh, we're also trying to get the acting president of uh, the Musicians Union of Ghana, uh, Uncle Bess. Uncle Bess will be joining us very shortly. But let me start with you, Mr. Music Man. Now, how did the news uh, come to you, and how did you take it? Oh, well, I'm still in a shock, even though I knew uh, his situation because I visited him last week. Mm -hmm. I've been there about three times. Last week, I was there with, a, with a, someone that uh, President, S. President Kufo has sent mm -hmm. to go help, I mean, deliver something to Nana's family okay. so that they could use it in taking care of his situation. Yeah. So last week I was there. I was at me and I saw him. So, I mean, even though I knew how, how serious his situation was, I'm mm. still in a shock. All right. Now let's talk about your relationship uh, with uh, the late musician. How, how was that relationship? Give us uh, a view uh, of that relationship. Oh, I mean, Nana was, uh, was an uncle. I mm. mean, that's... One thing, I mean, he is, um, it's a, a, a little bit far, but he's an uncle. He's from the same uh, town like, like me. We are from Ubu. Mm -hmm. And so he is someone that, uh, I mean, for me, he's, if I speak about my mentors, mm. he is the number one. As a child, I used to sing all his songs. At a certain time, as a child, when I was growing up, I thought one day I was going to, uh, it was a dream to play in his band. Mm. And so for me, Nana, Nana was, uh, I mean, was everything that I wanted to be, like, selfless. Mm. And uh, I remember when I uh, became the, uh, the chairman of Gamro, mm. who was very vocal, who was very uh, uh, active in fighting that we, Gamro gets the recognition that he deserves. Mm. I mean, I, I won't be saying too much of it because people are saying all the nice things about him and mm. Nana, Nana is more than an institution. I heard one gentleman say that Nana is an institution. I've, I've been saying it in my interviews yeah. that during the time that Walt Disney was animating some of these, uh, uh, I mean, uh, doing this animation of Donald Duck and the Tom and Jerry's for the American market, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we had someone here called Nana Pedi who was giving it a full script all we needed was to get some a young person from NAFT to, to animate, animate some of the stories and we, we would have had images and role models that looked like us, mm. you know, because Nana was giving us a whole script, you know, and he, he's, he's one of the kind. I, mean, I played with him, mm -hmm. I performed with him at the Kempinski about uh, four or five years ago, mm. and in the midst, was a pre ex president Kufo Nanajima and Kunedu Rawlings. Mm -hmm. He took the mic and started, I mean, words pours out of him. He can be on stage and just compose any song, make it songs out of everything. I yeah. mean, give him a word, give him any topic, he'll make a song right there spontaneously. He's one of the kind. I mean, 
He's one of a kind indeed, and you know, like you rightly mentioned, that someone said he's an institution and someone who needs to be celebrated. He's a legend. I mean, he's composed over 800 songs, and he, like you just said, that he'd get on stage and compose a song. What do you think are some of the lessons uh, musicians right now, the generation right now, are churning out tunes? What are some of the lessons we can learn uh, from him? Well, I think, uh, luckily for us, he left us footprints. Those are his albums, his works mm -hmm. that we can listen to and uh, uh, tap from those, those uh, knowledge that he shared with us. Mm. Well, I heard one guy speak about uh, Jay Adobo and the rest. Yes, we have great guys like Jaco Nimo, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. Nana Perdue was one of them. Mm. These are people who are more than institutions. Yeah. You have the UN and other institutions recognizing them as such, but we are so close to them and we we don't even get closer to them to tap into their knowledge, yeah. to tap into their experiences. Mm. And I think we should start doing that. Uh, we shouldn't, we should, Nana Aja Konimo is also someone who keeps telling us, come to me, mm. I want to rub it on you, I want to share mm -hmm. those knowledge with you. I also want to learn from you, so yeah. it's up to us to tap into that knowledge, to tap in, because experiences are something that you cannot buy. Exactly. All Money right. cannot buy, it's priceless. Mm. All right, joining mm. me is uh, the acting president of Musica, uh, Bess uh, Simons. Uncle Bess, good morning. Uncle Bess, I'd like you to please unmute uh, yourself there. Thank you, I just did. Um, okay. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing, Uncle Bess? Well, we are all hanging in there by God's grace. Yeah. And I hope... All right, now let's talk about your relationship uh, with uh, the highlight musician, Nana Ampedu. How, how was that like? Thank you very much. Good morning, Pedu, my brother. Um, yes. Um, Nana Ampedu was one musician from Ghana that I personally have looked up to mm -hmm. and school days. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I quite remember my school, uh, when it comes to his music, the jacket, the first it was so well made mm -hmm. at that time. The arrangement, the lyrics, everything. And then uh, he is a, one musician who always advises people, not only through his music, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. uh, Uncle Bess, if you can reposition yourself for me, it seems like we're losing you. So if you can just try to reposition well, you, yourself for me. Uh, okay. That's better. Because, yes, yes. Um, yes, that's better. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like I was... I mean, Anam Pedu is one musician that one musician that we all look up to. Yeah. He's he, if you are closer to him, mm. he will make sure you are proud of your heritage. Yeah. Anam Pedu is one uh, ambassador, mm. her life ambassador from Ghana, who was so in her life near musician all over the world. He moves and apart from his music, he did not like music for himself alone. Yeah. The number music worship. Yeah. The Japan is written music that is been reported that we don't even know that he was the one who wrote those. He uh, also uh, Uncle Bess, <laughs> Uncle Bess, uh, the, the network is terrible. I, I literally can't uh, hear you. Um, let's uh, try it again. Uh, we'll call you on uh, via phone. Uh, let me go to one of his fans who's uh, do not see. Um, Uncle Bess, we'll try to uh, reach you via phone so that we can get a clear connection. But let me go to Adu uh, Nasir Ahmed. Uh, good morning, Adu. Good morning. Yeah, so uh, tell me about your uh, collection and your love for uh, the late musician. So, I, you know, I, having grown up from, uh, you know, my, my village, I, you know, more, more often at times some of the songs that you listen to mm -hmm. obviously comes from the funeral grounds and 
you know, you sort of grow up with these things. And um, I think my favorite song has to be Mother. But then I think somewhere 2009, that was when I started buying songs online. That was when I first had my iPod touch. And I think one of the first albums I bought was from the late Nanam Pedu, Abena Futuwe, which had a couple of songs on them. Mm-hmm. And I've been doing these collections across Africa, I mean, from Cameroon to Burkina Faso, Nigeria, and then Ghana. And I dare say that, yes, we have a lot of great high-life musicians, the likes of Lebo Taylor, we have another KJC, and so uh-huh. Pastor, and we have all these guys. But I will tell you that Ampadu's style of writing music is unparalleled. I, I don't think that there's anyone who actually writes music as much as in an Aquamian Yeah. And for me, um, having heard that that news yesterday, it was actually a friend of mine who tagged me on the on the post on Twitter, mm. just because he knows how much I love the man. And I think it just hits home. I do not think that we would have I don't think that we have anyone that writes has that writing style. Mm-hmm. I do believe we have very great musicians, very great high musicians still alive. Yeah. Particularly in someone like Ebo Taylor. Mm. But I dare say that when you look at the rankings, I even though it's very difficult to say, I don't think there's anyone that is better than Nampadi in that regard. Okay. And we've and we've lost a very, you know, an institution as they said. And and yeah. I hope that we can sort of do a lot of musical collections from these old chaps yeah. before we lose all of them as time goes on. All right. Thank you so much, Adu Nasir uh, Ahmed. Let me go back to Mr. Music Man, uh, if you're still with me. So a lot of people I was speaking to yesterday, they were sort of complaining uh, how we treat our legends right now. You know, uh, people on Twitter were even expressing their uh, opinions that, I mean, it seems like we only celebrate our legends when they die. You, as I speak to you right now, are a legend. You are a great man. You are the music man. Uh, tell me your thoughts about this and how Ghana treats its legends. Oh man, unfortunately we uh, lost, uh, we've lost uh, the music man. Okay, but let, let, let's go to um, Bessa Simons. Uncle Bess, can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you. All right, okay, so um, I was uh, posing a question to uh, Mr. Music Man, Kojo Entry, and people I spoke to yesterday, they were just complaining how we treat our legends today. Uncle Bess himself is also a legend. What are your thoughts on how Ghana treats its legends? Well, I mean, for me, um, I think what is happening is that uh, for us, sorry, let me start for me. Uh-huh. Um, first of all, let me just uh, pay a little tribute to Nanam Pedu. Sure. Yes, Nanam Pedu is one authentic, original uh, musician whose style of writing is so unique mm. that nobody can copy him. Mm. And this is what, why we say he's such a great loss to the nation. I mm. mean, and he's a very proud Ghanaian hard life musician, and he never hides it. Wherever he went, he mm. mentioned it. Um, he believed in his heritage. Mm. And this is something we are not getting now. And for those of us who were close to him, and forever listening to his advice, mm-hmm. he always told us to believe in our high life music mm. and be proud of it because nobody can do it better than us from Ghana who have listened to this music from birth. Mm-hmm. That's him. He also served musicians. He is one of the pioneers who made sure music, Musicians Union was recognized in Ghana by the government and the whole nation. Mm, mm, mm. He was. And he also was an executive. He was uh, the general secretary at one point. Mm. And before God called him, he was the chairman for AMWEF, Aged Musicians Welfare Fund. Even yeah. on his sick bed, he will respond to calls and make sure he advised as such. Mm. Um, for me, the first high life I played in my school band those mm. days, and I produced a song, And I still remember the song from note to note to the end. It was so made, so structured, the arrangement, the lyrics. And I produced is the person, he will come out to a meeting. Yeah. Whether we meet in the president of the land, vice president, or anybody, Nana has a story that will fit the occasion that everybody will go home with. Yeah. This is a man we, we, we can never replace. We've lost. A lot. Now, coming to how we treat our legends, uh-huh. I think charity begins at home. Mm-hmm. From where we come from, me, my age group, 
up to a certain age group, you know, we respect our elders in music. Mm. When we see them, we, we know that if it wasn't them, we wouldn't be where we are today. Mm. And we, the respect we give is what I will ask every musician to give that same respect to our elders because they've got something that we need to learn. Okay. So Uncle that Best. we can, you know, uh, um, let people know where we have come from and where we are going. All right. Thank you so much, Uncle Bess. Unfortunately, due to time, uh, we can't continue okay. this conversation. Thank but you. I'd love to have a sit down with you and we can talk about uh, Nanam Pedu's life, Thank amongst you. other things. Thank, Thank you so much you. for your time. All right, and that's how we enjoy News Interactive. Now, Ampedu was a great tree in the music forest. He leaves the earth, but his roots are centered in the hearts of his family. His trunk of music will stay for generations to come, and his sounds will branch to inspire musicians alike. Rest in peace, Nana Kwame Ampedu. You are home now. My name is Mopisa Sibidi. Thank you so much for watching. Heroes of change.